products can be linked to deals, which can in turn be linked to clients or specific contacts. Easily set ownership of each product within your company, create duplicates, edit when necessary. In this video, you'll learn how to create your own product catalog, create deals with products attached, add multiple products to deals, and adjust currencies and taxes. Sharpen your pencils, your TeamWave experience is about to level up. Create a customizable catalog of products or services, whatever it is that you're selling, and then you can add prices to these products and link them to deals. When adding products to a deal, the deal value will be calculated automatically based on the sum of the product prices in that deal. To add a product to your TeamWave account, go to the Products tab and click Add Product. In this dialog, you can fill details of the product, product name, product code, number of units, price and currency are required fields. Once you save the product here, there are some additional details you can include such as product type and description. And of course, you can also add custom fields to your product for whatever it is you need to keep tabs off. Multiple currencies is a feature that will help companies who sell their products or services globally decide how to price their product in each market to maximize profit for that market. Under the prices tab here, click add price, enter details like unit price, currency, cost per unit and direct cost and click save. And your price in a new currency is ready to be used. And price variations allow you to combine related products together onto a single listing. It can be used as a way to create general versions of the same product as you can create product variations with different names, unit prices, currencies and cost per unit. Under the variations tab here, click add variation and enter details like variation name, unit price, currency and cost per unit and click save. And you can add prices in different currencies to each variation as well. You can manually add your product catalog one by one or you can import through a spreadsheet. Once your catalog is ready to go, you'll be pleased to see that you can add your products to your deals when you create them. Now let's take a look at products list view. You can edit product details directly here and filter your products alphabetically at the top of the screen here or create custom filters. To learn more about filtering, check out our video on custom fields and filters. So let's add a few products to a deal. Some people kind of use this as their initiation step of creating a deal. During a call, they'll know which products to offer and go from there. When bulk adding products to deals, you can enter the title of the deal that you wish to link your products to. And if the deal does not exist, a new deal will be created with the selected products attached. The pricing and currency of the products are by default set to the price that you saved in the original products profile, but you can customize these to another currency and price if you'd like. You can click add a new item to attach additional products to the chosen deal. For instance, if other potential products come up during the conversation, you could still add a product but disable it from the deal or you could just delete it from the deal entirely. It's also worth noting that any custom prices defined in this window will only apply to this deal and will not be saved as a price entry in the product's detail and list view. The original product remains the same. If you select tax inclusive for the product, the tax will already be included in the subtotal according to the percentage you enter in the tax field. Tax exclusive adds tax to the subtotal according to the percentage you entered in the tax field. And if you select no tax, no tax will be added. You can also link products to deals here in the deals detail view by clicking on add products. Deleting a product can be done by a product owner, super admins or CRM admins. And last but not least, you can select which group of users have permission to actually use products. And that's that.